So we went on an American Hauntings tour this past weekend in a small Midwest, Midwestern town called Alton, Illinois. Alton's known as one of the most haunted small towns in America. So I thought I'd take you, we, Christy and I both would take you with us. We started at the infamous Mineral Springs Hotel on East Broadway. The hotel carries tales of legend, lore, fiction, fact, and a great number of restless spirits. <laughs> we visited the inside of the Franklin Masonic Lodge, which you'll see soon. It was absolutely stunning inside. The lodge was um, chartered on October 9th, 1844, and is an active lodge today. Not a spooky story, but a very interesting one. One of the lodge's chartered members happened to be Robert Wadlow. If you haven't heard of this gentle giant, he's the man who's known to be the tallest person in record history. He was 8 foot 11.1 inches tall and weighed approximately 439 pounds. He was born and raised in Alton, and he became taller than his dad at the age of 8. So can you imagine? He was so tall due um, to something that, I mean, it had to do with his pituitary gland. And I cannot pronounce this properly, but I'll try. Hypertrophy. Anyway, Robert was enrolled in college to study law and he became a master mason um, the year prior to his passing, which is very sad. He was at the young age of 22. So from the lodge, we headed directly to the city cemetery, and uh, which I must say I want to go back and see during the daylight as well. So among those buried at the city cemetery is an important abolitionist publisher. You might recognize his name from history books, Elijah Parrish Lovejoy. Lovejoy was sadly killed by a pro-slavery mob in 1837 while he was trying to prevent his printing press from being destroyed for the fourth time. So Alton's location on the border between like the North and the South made it a frontier in the battle between slavery advocates and abolitionists. Alton was an escape route for many, many slaves. Even Mark Twain once referred to Alton as a dismal little river town because they suffered so much sadness, largely to like the dark history of the town already going through um, so much by the 1900s. Death, disease, disaster, violence, murder, scars from even the Civil War. But the city cemetery um, is believed possibly to be the third oldest ongoing cemetery in the state of Illinois. So some people claim that um, they often hear voices due to a lot of people buried there from the Civil War. Um, they experience cold spots and also a haunting from a little girl who passed away from diphtheria at the age of nine. Her name is Lucy Haskell. And everybody claims she is just a playful, curious little spirit. Anyway, the next was the Enos Apartments. And the basement of those apartments was once part of the Underground Railroad. It was amazing to see. So, of course, that was in the mid-1800s. And it was a portal to freedom for fleeing slaves that crossed the Mississippi River. The basement of this four-story building was also once a sanatorium, and now it is an apartment building, Enos Apartments. I tell you, the feeling that we got in that tunnel, it was so heavy, and the stories that were told by the guide, they were even more so. So after that, we headed to First Unitarian Church that opened in 1905. We learned of a minister who committed suicide in the church in the 1930s. We were told of stories about his restless spirit that apparently lingers throughout the church today. You know, so anyway, finally, we were told stories about a penitentiary there that opened in 1833 an overcrowded prison, overrun with disease and starvation, 
leading to more than 1,300 deaths. Those stories were just horrific and haunting all on their own. But the tours were really, um, it was wonderful. They're based on the best-selling author Troy Taylor's book, Haunted Alton, which he wrote in 1999. He's written um, many, many other books that you may, well, that we showed you at the beginning of this video. I highly recommend the tour. It was interesting and just so full of great history. So... If you are interested this time of year, it's actually kind of fun and exciting to go, you know, um, with it being fall and have all the spooky vibes of this great town, but they do tours all year long in Alton, Illinois.